or based on the new um, uh, studies that have come out that the FDA um, recommended that the age ranges be expanded, um, suggesting that uh, it may actually give some benefits um, for protecting um, older people against cancers as well. And so if we can do anything to protect people against cancer by um, administering a vaccine, um, the, it looks like the studies are now supporting that. HPV is, um, a, uh, is human papilloma virus, that's what it stands for, and it is a um, series of viruses, so a bunch of different types of viruses um, that uh, are mainly linked to um, uh, increasing risks for genital warts. Um, they also uh, it can be other skin warts uh, as well, um, but the really big concern that we have is, is that, the, um, that those types of infections um, can increase the risks of um, cancer in both men and women. Right now, what has um, happened is, is that the FDA has approved the vaccine for use up to the age of 45. Um, the, uh, we will probably have to wait for the CDC to give the recommendation of exactly what, um, what they're going to suggest as far as the courses go before we sort of say this is, you know, um, the way that we're going to be approaching a practice. Um, so it's still a little bit early to exactly say um, like what, we, what we'll be for sure recommending. Um, but, you know, again, my suspicion based on the studies is, is that it's going to be up to um, age 45 um, for people to get the course. Once the FDA has approved it and the CDC says, you know, this is the regimen that we're going to be using, um, then usually insurance companies kind of jump on board after that. Um, and it seems like the process can sometimes take months to sometimes years. Uh, to kind of work through as far as insurance company coverage. So it not only expands the opportunity for people who may have missed it when they were um, younger or now patients who are older, um, but it also um, is going to uh, cover those people who we've had, I've had conversations with or other providers have had conversations with um, who might be interested in getting the vaccine but are outside the age range that was recommended for. And around safety and eff efficacy um, and adverse reactions, um, there's very little uh, concerns. And we'll be having conversations uh, with patients who are older than 45. And I suspect that a lot of providers are going to say that most likely it's going to be beneficial depending on your risk factors. Um, but again, we won't have medical evidence to back it up until a study's done that says that it's safe beyond that or that it's effective beyond that.